Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and I'm joined by... The Dude, how are you guys doing? Welcome to part two of our co-op campaign, or should I say versus campaign. And versus, absolutely. <laughs> of course, of course. So what we want is your feedback. So in the first episode we both recorded using TeamSpeak and what we want to know is should we record our voices on separate channels so that I don't know what the dude is doing or the dude doesn't know what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly what Dragon just said. We really need your feedback, so please comment or um, uh, message us through stream. Uh, like I said, you guys should all friend us because we're always available to uh, answer your questions. But uh, we really need your feedback on this because for episode three, we're either going to do it this way or uh, like we did in episode one where we, we were both talking during the same time. So we really want to get your feedback on that um, because this is a new frontier as doing versus um, where it's just a different uh, aspect of how we're doing this. So we, we really need your feedback and uh, we hope uh, you'll, you'll let us know what you guys like because uh, these videos are for you and we want your contribution. Um, so please uh, let us let us know. Uh, and without further ado, I think we should. What do you think, Dragon? Should we start the episode? And get some battles on. I think so. Let's begin. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, um, so we'll start the campaign here, and we'll see you guys. I think where we left off, we had a battle, right, Dragon? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's a battle that it is. Okay, let's do it, man. Hello, everyone. So welcome back. So this is my point of view of this co-op campaign, and as you can see, the dude is currently having his turn. He has just over two minutes to make his turn right now, and I'm, as I'm as he's taking his turn, I'm going to click the stopwatch on my phone. And what we've agreed is to do about 40 minutes of gameplay, because it's, of, of course, without both of us speaking to each other, it can be a little bit difficult. But this is kind of a, a trial run episode. We, we want your feedback, so we can find out what's going to actually happen. And it looks like he's actually ended turn, so we'll see what happens in this end turn phase right now as we hit the 30 second mark and we have a battle so this is the battle that we fought or we were going to fight last time so we're going to hit the fight the battle on the battlefield button the dude will find out what he does now he will probably uh, play as the Galaci tribe hopefully this doesn't mess up we do heavily outnumber him so we do have a big advantage and that's one of the things I like to do in my campaign is to try and gain an advantage over my opponent numerically the more units I have the more units I'm, I can afford to throw away I suppose and yeah this should be should be a pretty fun battle now I have to let you guys know we did try to record episode 2 yesterday straight after episode 1 and unfortunately we fought this battle and <laughs> it's quite a funny story actually I actually won the battle but my battle was a completely different battle to the dudes so he was like, what the hell happened there? Because he lost, but none of his units were routing. But I won, making his units route. But what he saw was completely different to what I was describing. So, yeah, it was really strange to see, but it was kind of fun as well. At, at the time, I was really, really annoyed with, with how it turned out. But anyway, back to the campaign. And the dude is up here. But I imagine he'll probably move that around. I think he told me that he's going to, to actually... Uh, take off the mod that he had on which which had the capture point mod removal so like he couldn't see this beforehand in the, in the first part whereas I can but now I think he can actually see this so that's that's good for him but that he can now actually see what we do and I'm gonna group up some of these units as well because I forgot to do that now these units are quite weak as you can see they are 10% health they are d diminished they are depleted and that's not good so we'll see what he does and it looks like he is, and he is, yep, he's going to outflank me over here. He's outflanking me, that's not good. So straight away we're going to turn some of our troops around in the full knowledge that he knows where my capture point is. He has left some units here. What does he have? He has cavalry by the looks of things. Yes, Cantabri, Epon, Neredium, cavalry. I think that's how you pronounce them. I need to work up on my Latin, I think, to, to work this out. But I'm going to throw some of these units in to begin with. Now where are my reinforcements? Here they are. I want to get all these into the city as well. As best as I can. Hopefully we won't get any any problems. I mean, he's disappearing into the trees, the sneaky old bugger. What we're going to do, we're going to 
head towards there. It's pretty obvious that that's where he's going to be. We have one unit of missile troops. We're going to need them. And he looks like he might try to hide in this battle. So we're going to have to be on our guard. I'm not going to hold the city with this army. They are, they are terrible. They are. There's only a few of them in in the actual army. Let's get a little bit of action going here with the unit cam. Look at my beautiful, beautiful warriors. Look at the, holy shit! Look at the beard on this guy. Let's get into, into the end zoom. Shit! Look at that. He doesn't look happy, does he? Look at the eyes. He looks like he wants to murder a pig. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to concentrating because this isn't the the <coughs> pardon me. This isn't the usual AI that you would fight in Rome 2. This is an actual human player in the campaign that can cause problems. So straight away, I'm going to throw these men away. Just want to try to hold him up for as long as possible. I'm going to do the same thing with these men here. These two units are going to hold up here because I can barely hold this square, and I got a lot more men back here which I need to use as well. Utilize these to the best of my ability. I'm going to bring my general up and we're going to actually bring them to there, like so. What do we have? We have some slingers. I'm going to bring the slingers into play with my my reinforcements. Get your ass over here quickly, come on. We need you over here. Get your asses into my settlement. Let's get them there. That's what's going to win me the battle, is the reinforcements, because uh, he has a lot of bullshit right now. And I don't think I'll be able to take out this with what I currently have. So we're going to have to wait and see uh, what happens there. Now is he actually coming forward with his cavalry? I don't think he is. Maybe I don't need to worry about his cavalry right now. If that's the case, that's probably good. So these men are currently in right now. They are currently fighting. Let's have a look. Go on. Kill him, my son. Kill him. Kill him. Look, kill him. No, what are you doing? Not me. Him. Kill him. Go on, you can do it. You can do it, boy. I believe in you. God believes in you. Dragonheart believes in you. He's still alive. Oh, he's got some of his mates there now, his friends. That was fun. Okay, back to the battle, because I don't want to be doing that. Ooh, there's my capture point. There we go. That's not good for me. Alright, let's get all this bullshit. Attacking this bullshit. Send a unit in to attack. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to continue to pepper his his cavalry with my slingers and while I do that I'm gonna do do this bring my my men around there and I also flank around there with them do I have anything else here no I don't I'm gonna quick look at the unit cam I don't use this not, not the unit cam the, the tactical map I don't do this often so here are my uh, reinforcements they're gonna come into the square around here he looks like he has his general ah he has his general all the way up here which I didn't see before all the way back there right I got an idea let's what do we have? Do we have cavalry? Right, these two are going to go for his general up there. The rest are going to go for the square. Now, I wouldn't have noticed that unless I used that toggle, toggle tactical cam. So it does have its uses. I just don't use it that often, but I would like to use it more than I usually do. What are we doing up here? Holy shit! <laughs> We're chasing off his his uh, missile troops. His slingers? Are they slingers? I think they're slingers. With my Ibe Lugoi, Lugoi, Lugoa. Luki? I don't know. Just bring these men in. So I'm, I'm happy to let him just come in here and fight me at the moment. My general is nowhere near. Can we actually walk through there? I don't think we can. That's a shame. Just bring my... Can we hit my... What are these? These are swordsmen. He has an axe. Cavalry unit I have here is going to go for a charge in that case. Epic cavalry charge. Number one. Here they come. Go on, cavalry charge! Fire! Oh yes, straight in there. That was beautiful. And back out we go. So yes, I'm trying to use my zoom in features a bit more in my campaigns. I don't do it that often. But, you know, it would be beneficial to try and do a bit more, to just show a bit more of the action. You know, a bit more of what war is really like. And we're engaged up here. Like, I can't, I am going to ha hope in hell of winning with some of these units. Let's bring these slingers back. They can come to the, to just outside the square. Sling some of his men. Sling, sling, sling. Right, we're getting, my cavalry's doing okay. No, it's not, it's doing crap. I lie. Gotta stop lying. Not doing well. 
Bring my general there. Oh my god, he has. That's where his cavalry disappeared to. Sneaky devil. In that case, let's bring this get unit back. My sling's gonna attack him there. I've lost a unit, that's 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 a shame, but oh well it happens. It does happen, I'm afraid. I'm gonna attack his his Kala Se Roskaitera. See I'm getting better at the pronunciations. With my slings, my slingers, my reinforcements, what the fuck? Are you stopped? Oh no, don't tell me you stopped. What are you doing man? You are just kneeling down. Oh my god. Right guys. Guys, what are you doing? Come back into the square. Come to the dark side. Come on, this is not good. Right. That is slightly better. What are you doing? You guys stopped. You are marching, that's good. I was a bit scared then because <laughs> they were crouching down and they weren't doing doing their job, but it's 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 a shame. Oh my god, right, we're gonna lose this square if we don't get in there quickly. Quickly, come on. Shit 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 shit. I've overestim underestimated my opponent, I think. He's doing a good job in this battle. Could I lose my first battle of this campaign? I could, I could not. Who knows? I gotta get my reinforcements here. Men! You are running, that's good. Yep, all of you should be running. Listen to your master. Come on. It's quite cool, this mod, though, because you've got like 300 men in my general unit, whereas in vanilla it's like 120 or 140. I'm not quite sure, but... You know, you know what it's like. Anyway, we're going to charge him there. And in three, two, one. War cry! And a little bit of inspiration as well. Now get in there and kill. Kill, kill, kill. Hail to the mother. Kill. Go on, you can do it. There we go. General's in there. General is engaged. That's good. Little bit of the tactical map again to make me feel important, even though I haven't got a clue what I'm doing half the time. So. A lot of red in the centre, all of these yellows must attack, and it looks like he's attacking me up here right now, so all these men, kill, kill them men, kill, shit, holy shit, right, we're doing okay I think, 271 remaining, I might lose my general here, this is risky, this is quite risky indeed, I think I might have over relied on my, my actual reinforcements in this battle. But I wish they'd hurry up. Come on, get your asses down here. You see, this is the thing with me. I'm more used to the vanilla game. I have played with Divide and Conquer, but I haven't actually played with Divide and Conquer in a YouTube uh, capacity. Same with Radius. I've, I've used some of the Radius unit mods in my campaigns, but I haven't played the full Total Overhaul yet. I am planning to do so uh, in the future. I am thinking perhaps a Nomadic Tribe uh, campaign on legendary difficulty so you know, let, let me know what you think about that if I should go for it or not I think it'd be fun I'd probably use this, this mod as well as I get used to it a bit more and I don't, don't think that holding this capture point is actually doing anything because there's no timer or anything so yeah I don't know what's going on there anyway don't need to worry about that my general's getting outflanked he's gonna be rammed in the rear with his, his horseman which isn't good I'm afraid but what you gonna do? Nice orange, orange uh, tops though. Are they? Oh, hang on. Are they throwing things at me? Are you throwing things at me? I don't think you are. That's okay. You, you stay there like that. That's good. Holy shit! Right, you guys have gotta get your asses into the square. Come on, get into the square. There we go. Run straight through him. Holy shit! My generals are gone. I'm gonna zoom into this a minute because. Because you know he might he might die here. Oh look, look at the bandana on their heads. Hello, how are you? Hey, look, it's a Viking. It's a Viking. Oh, he's dead. That's not good. Hello, person who vlogged onto Steam. Hello. That's the only thing with co-op. You have to have Steam on. When I record, I usually. Uh, I usually have Steam off, offline, I, I record offline so I don't get interrupted on Steam all the time but um, when you do a co-op you have to be online of course so you kind of have to uh, you know do it online <laughs> just repeat myself now my god so he looks like he's lining up against me here he's gonna he knows what's gonna happen now I don't think I need to rush in I think I can I can be a bit more tactical about this because yeah now I have a unit here 100, 104 
they are spearmen. He has cavalry not far away. I can use them through the through the woods here. What's he got? He got Fudi Ibo Ibe Fonditores. Let's bring my spearmen to here. I can perhaps flank with them. Now what I'm gonna do with these three is bring these three units to the front. Is he going to engage me? Yes, right. So I want it. He's coming forward maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Don't know if he is. He is. Yep, he's throwing things at me. That's not good. Don't throw things at me. Ah, the coward. Look at him. He's running away. He knows what's going to happen if he comes there. Let's check on my spearmen. So my spearmen are creeping their way towards my enemy. We're going to make a run for their their horsemen. Because we all know that spearmen versus horsemen is like a kettle made of chocolate. It just doesn't work. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to attack there. So we're going to send my Gestic Polinen Duratios, otherwise known as spearmen, to attack his Kalasai Roskarhira, otherwise known as sword units, <laughs> and we're going to attack him here. Here, now, if I had, if this was Sparta, I'd have Hoplites lined up here as a defence. But because this isn't Sparta, we have that advantage of not having to worry about that. And my spearmen, this is what I wanted. Here we go. Spearmen are doing the job on the, uh, on his, his cavalry. He is losing some men. I am losing some spearmen myself. But if I can take as many of them out as I can, that's great for me. Uh, what else has he got? He got more swordsmen. He got a lot of swordsmen, so that's what I need to worry about the most. This unit's outnumbered. They're gonna not survive too long. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take these two units of slingers. I'm gonna group them up with the G button, and I'm gonna bring them outside this little settlement here. The capture point doesn't work, so that doesn't really mean anything. I don't know whether this is the mod or whether this is just multiplayer. The capture points don't work. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments because. Any, any feedback is appreciated, and if it can help with this campaign at all, it's even better. So, yeah. He's going to lose his cavalry, this is good for me. Going to lose his cavalry, not good for him. Holy shit, right. He's got more cavalry. Shit, I didn't see them. Sneaky bastard. Right, we're going to attack them. There. These men are routed up there, so we can now... Luckily... <laughs> luckily, we can charge him through here. Which should be pretty fun to, to see. We can do that. Excellente. So, oh shit, we're losing. Shit, lots of units up there. So that's 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 okay. My spearmen are running right right now. Look at this. Holy shit, my spearmen. Fucking hell, my spearmen are doing a very good job indeed. One unit of spearmen completely through the back door, doing lots of damage to my uh, my opponent, which is very good for me indeed. We're gonna hold him up there, and we're gonna come through with all the bullshit. I'm hoping the spearmen can finish these off and then attack. Um, what unit's this? Swordsman. I think we'll go for the, sp the swordsman next with this unit. If we can distract him long enough, then we can do that. I must say, I'm not having the best of battles that, uh, in this in this battle. I'm kind of leaving everything to the last minute to attack him. Just got to hope I can hold on for as long as possible. Right, they're gone. Let's bring the spearman back. We want to bring the spearman to here. Bring them there. That'd be great. Right, slingers. Want to do some damage with the slings. I think for them, and we're going to engage him now with some of this uh, infantry that we have. There we go, lovely jubbly. Get all the infantry right in the chops, right in the front of his face, while my spearmen creep up like the sneaky bastards they are back into the capture point area. We're going to go about there. If we can box him off there, that'd be great. I'm going to try to close him in. If I had cavalry now, I'd be flanking around and trying to go through here and then go for a charge in the rear. It's one of the things which I miss <laughs> with this army composition is the cavalry. Didn't have much to begin with, unfortunately, for me. Right, so he has 231 left in this unit. He has 169 in this unit. He has 111 in this unit. 166 and 271. 271, that's not good for me. Holy shit. Form up, guys. Form up. Holy shit, they threw things at me. Charge! Kill them! Shit, we lost some men. I didn't like that at all. Get in there, kill. Kill, kill, kill! Hail to the mother. Oh my fucking god, I didn't see this out there. Run! No, attack your spearmen! Attack! <laughs> I thought they were swordsmen. Attack, you lazy bastards! Attack him! Holy shit, he's running right with his cavalry. No, he's using my tactics against me. I like cavalry. Don't do this to me. Holy shit. Get in there, you fucking idiots. Come on. Don't deal with them, deal with the ones over there. Hello? 
Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that was quite funny. Right, let's go and, and attack his... Oh, they shot that. That's good. They run away. Excellent. How did they run away against Slingers? Are they Slingers or Javelin Men? Oh, Javelin Men, of course. Javelin Men are good against Cavalry in this mod. Excellent work. So we're doing pretty well against him now. Let's bring this unit up. We are defeating him. We are doing well. I'm just going to charge in with a couple of units now. This one can keep him at bay. I'm going to charge into the building. Into the building? Into the capture point with this... Art, with this uh, I'll get my words right in a minute with this unit. There we go, right word. Right word, right time. Oop, nice tree. Now we're going to attack there, that's good. Banzai! Kill them all! Get in there. Why aren't you? There you go, attack. There we go, he is routing, he is right, right in, he is routing. Let's zoom in and see the epicness of this battle. So we have a dead horse. We have some men which are doing a little bit of a dance by here. Let's go and find his men. Oh, let's go and find some fighting. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's dead. That wasn't nice for him, but it was very nice for me. My men are chasing them off. That's great. Look at that. Excellent. Excellent. So we're doing well again in this campaign. We're not going to lose our first battle that easily. Now we're going to send everything. You know what? Control A. Let's get go, go, for the, go for the killer blow. I smell blood. Let's kill them all. Kill them all. Kalase. Roskathera. Let's kill them. Lots of javelins getting thrown in. These javelin men are quite powerful. I, I, I'm quite surprised uh, how uh, how good they are. Because in vanilla they are quite shit. Let's charge these in as well. They have no ammunition left. So let's just go for the charge. Completely bundle my way in. This army. This army? This unit can now flank around. I'm going to go over here. And then like so. So there. Then there. I did that by clicking first and then holding down shift for the second movement order, if you guys weren't aware of that. And look at this, this is brilliant. Let's go for a little bit of a a mock. This unit's going to die by there, and then this unit's going to die by there. Excellent. Does that come up on the map, I wonder? Oh, it does. Let's see. Oh, it does. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Didn't know you could do that. Lots of blood. Oh, look at that. Blood everywhere. Let's go for... Uh, oh, what am I doing? You, that's terrible. You are dead. That's the worst right then you'll ever see. But he is dead. <laughs> oh, I love it when I mock people like this. Oh, wrong button. Right, click. Click and kill. Kill. Kill them all. Let's go for another zoom again. So see the end of this, this little battle by here. Ooh, punches are flying in as well. Unit animation. Hello, people. People of Iberia. Wow, he got cool armor. I like his armor. He's the one I said looks like a Viking. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? I think he's gonna die. Die, you fucking ragscallion. Oh shit. No, his buddy joined up. His twin. I am Vagmar, and this is Mufkin. Welcome to Iberia. Oh, he's dead. Magmar's dead. Just killed Muf Mufkin. Did I call him Mufkin? He's Mufkin now, anyway. You're dead. Kill him. Kill him. Kill them all. Kill them all. Die. Oh, right in the gut. Holy shit. He is dead. And his head's gone. Excellent. So, that was great. How many of them are remaining? We have 108, but they are wavering. And we have 219. They're confident, so it's going to take quite a lot to, to kill them. I should probably be flanking around with some of my my units. Let's see if we can. See if we can get something. Oh wait, they're gone. There we go. Victory. So we'll end the battle there. Costly victory, but I don't care. Victory is a victory. You don't fuck with Dragonheart in this campaign. So he is dead. 1-0 to Team Dragonheart. By the way, if, you, if you're if you supporting the dude, leave a hashtag and put the Team Dude. If you're supporting me, leave a hashtag and put Team Dragonheart. That'd be pretty cool. Make it a bit fun. Fun for everyone. Ooh. Let's have a drink by there. I'm actually drinking uh, Strongbow, but it's not the usual Strongbow. It's Strongbow Citrus Edge. It's quite nice. I think it's quite new. But yeah, um, the dude's probably having a cup of tea because <laughs> it's morning time in his country, whereas it's in the night over here. Pyrrhic victory, a Pyrrhic victory, so we want to release the captives. 
I'm doing this because the Lusitani are basically they're fucked by everyone. No one likes them. They have bad relations with everybody. So it's it's kind of beneficial to you know to do that. Libya plague, Lugos plague. So unseasonal conditions. Galaci character trait. Okay, yes, that's fine. Faction destroy the Vascon. Oh, the Vascones. In my single player campaign, the Vascones are quite strong. One of the best tribes in northern Iberia. So it's quite fun to see that. So I need to work out what I'm going to do in this campaign now. So I have two provinces. The dude only has the one. The aim is to try and take him out, or him take me out, vice versa. Now we are at war with the Galatia. Do they own this? I don't think... Yes, they do. Right, so it's common sense to go for these over here, I think. Now, we have no... Uh, let's see, can we have Galatia? They are same blood, I wonder. No, they don't peace. You fucking idiots. Right, we'll ignore them. We're going to ignore the diplomacy because I think we can ignore it for now. Do we have any artillery? That's what we need to invest in in this campaign. Some good artillery units. Oop, wrong button. Shit. Nope, nothing there. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of uh, units full, so let's merge a couple of these. There we go. That'll do for them. They're okay there. We have some money, which is quite cool. It's cool. It's cool. Let's go all the way down south to Olisipo, the capital of Lusitani. So, these guys fucked us over in the first episode, but they they had peace and we had some money from them, so we're just gonna stay here for now. I could go in and take them out, but uh, there's no point. It's, it's a pointless war. Olisipo has nine units and two ships as a garrison, plus we have my general, which is quite cool. So I'm not gonna invest in anything with him at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to carry on recruiting. So we want some... Uh, we got slingers, we got... Of oh, what's uh, 21 melee? 27. Ooh, they look nice. I like them. Yeah, let's go for them. We're gonna get two units of them. Meanwhile, this army, can we chase them down? Four units. I think we can chase them down. Let's 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 go for an attack anyway. The horns of NATO, and they run away like the the cowards that they are. We could probably take them out from here. I think. I think we can. So we'll attack them here. Oh yes, we have another battle. I outnumber the enemy, and the dude's going to control those poor fo those poor sods over there. So we'll kick the assault button. We'll see what the dude decides. Will he fight or won't he? I think if he doesn't decide, it it goes automatically to an auto resolve. Now, don't quote me on this, but we did have trouble um, trying to record before when when doing this campaign, and it did actually auto resolve a couple of times. Yeah, look, they got the dude auto resolve by there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see, it all resolves. Even though I clicked assault, so that's kind of confusing. But it, it can happen. Yeah! But anyway, so decisive victory. I'm going to release the captives yet again. Increase in rank. Magurix, excellent. So he is going to level up. We're going to level him up here. So what can we have? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Zeal, authority. Oh, I like the authority. Where is it? Commander of men. He is a commander of men. I will walk into Mordor. Right, what can we have? Morale for all units? Holy sh... Morale for all enemy? Minus... Mor minus five morale for enemy. we we'll go for that. Yeah, why, why not? I could attack them now, which would be kind of stupid, but what do they have in Asterix? They have ten units. Could I do it with these men, this many men? No, probably not. But next turn, we could try and take them out, which would be kind of cool, I think. I may have to hire some mercenaries. Meanwhile, this army here is going to build up Gonna recruit some men next turn. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. We'll do that, which will be great. We have an enclosed land here. Plus two food. Food's okay at the moment. I'm happy enough with that. Let's have a look at the family stuff, and then we can pass the turn over to the dude. Yeah, I I don't really like this bullshit, but we just look at it just just to feel important. And I think we can possibly end the turn. So I'm gonna end the turn now. Over to the dude. Let's see what he does. Oh my ship! I forgot to move my ship. Silly me. My main aim in this campaign is not to go to war with any of the big nations early on, like Carthage or Rome. I've done something similar in my single player Let's Play, where I'm basically trying, at the moment I'm trying to conquer all of Iberia with the Aravaki tribe. And what that allows is for me to build up a big third kind of superpower in the Mediterranean. So by the end game I'm hoping that Carthage will still be around and Rome will still be around. And then I can be the third major faction. That's, that's the... 
That's the aim anyway, to, to try to do that. Meanwhile, the dude contemplates his next turn. So I just have a quick look at the dude a minute, just to see... Oh, is that my spy? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about my spy. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. The dude's around here anyway. This is where the Aravaki are based, where, the, where it's red over by here. They're a pretty cool faction, the Aravaki. I do enjoy playing with them in my, my single player. And in, in my single player, I actually own uh, all of the Satania. I own most of the Galatia and Celt Iberia. And I've actually gone down and taken the Gate Tuli lands down here as well. So they are a pretty cool uh, faction to play as. If you're thinking of perhaps getting Hannibal at the Gates or playing as the Aravaki if you have them. Um, yeah, I would say Hannibal at the Gates probably a lot better than Caesar in Gaul. I, I, I bought Caesar in Gaul and part of me wonders why I did because... <laughs> It didn't live up to the promise, as far as I was concerned. It didn't feel like a proper um, expansion. It, it fell quite short of what I was expecting, because you have four um, factions that you can play as, but three of them are already in the main game, so it didn't really add much apart from the Nervii tribe. And let's face it, I don't really give a shit about the Nervii tribe. You can do what they want with them. <laughs> if I really wanted to play as Nervii, I'd probably play uh, the mod, there's a, there's a good mod out there, the All Factions mod, I'd probably play as uh, that mod, and yeah, you know, Hannibal at the Gates though, it, it's, it's pretty solid and a bit more polished than Caesar in Gaul, you have three new factions, Syracuse, Aravaki and Lusitani, so finally you can experience the sunny, the sunny lands of Spain, which is quite cool. I don't think I've ever played as a Spanish faction in any Total War game, whether that's in Rome as the Iberia before, before of course my single player, or um, in in any other previous game like Empire or Napoleon. I never played a spawn, a spawn, spawn, <laughs> Spain or Portugal merged together create spawn. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. So clock still ticking down. Three minutes forty one. That's good for him. One on one, that's good. Recruiting there. Money is terrible. We are so tight with money at the moment. It's quite, it's quite horrible indeed. Um, plus three food. That's good though. Let's have a proper look at this while he's taking his turn. So, Olispo is the capital. Culture is barbarian. Provinces owned is zilch. Prosperity is destitute. Regions owned is two. Treasury is twenty. Celt Iberian tribes. Horsemanship plus one experience rank for cavalry recruits, warrior society plus one public order for every war against a neighbouring faction. We also have food, which gives us plus one growth per turn in all provinces and plus four unit replenishment in all regions. As the Lusitani, we have mighty warriors, which gives us plus one experience rank for infantry, which gives us plus four public order from sacrifice. How the hell do I do sacrifice? And standalone moderate diplom diplomatic penalty with all factions. That's cultural. That's kind of kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Records. Let's have a look at the records. So, stats. No stats. We won't see. Let's see. Empire. Look at that. Current settlements held two. Settlements captured one. Settlements lost zero. That's the big number, but there's zero. And yeah, we haven't lost a battle yet. Could I be like the mighty Hannibal and not lose a battle? I, I doubt it. <laughs> There's going to be battles that I lose in this campaign. I would like to, I would have liked to have played this campaign on legendary difficulty just to see what it does, but I've always been uh, concerned with legendary difficulty because I, on my channel, for those of you watching this video, on my channel I did a Sparta Let's Play back before Christmas, and it was the this is total war steam achievement. So I was t attempting to go to war with every faction the turn I meet them on legendary difficulty and it was pretty fun to begin with but not long after you know after sort of part three or part four i started seeing all this stupid stuff in the campaign where basically um i was fighting the ai they would have three ladders say say now this settlement they'd have three ladders by here and they'd send a general and two infantrymen to go up the ladder and i'm thinking great you know they're attacking me i i barely had any, anything in the settlement by the way i had a very small garrison which was depleted and they basically send a general up the ladder to attack me and the other two men that brought ladders would run away <laughs> and they'd run away all around the city back to where the main army was and get completely fired upon by the siege tower so it was it was quite funny but 
I flipped out completely in that video. It was so, so bad. Oh, just thinking about it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's the way things go sometimes. So I'm just checking my timer right now, and it's currently 33 minutes gone. So we're gonna, what we're going to try and do is do about 40 minutes. But of course, if a battle does come up now, we'll overlap. We'll play that battle, of course. We'll see how things go. It should be pretty fun. Palantia. Palantia. This is going to be quite a difficult settlement to take, Costa Rica, because it's a walled city. I don't have any siege equipment at the moment. I barely have any units as well. Of course, siege battles are going to be pretty cool in this campaign. Having two players fight each other. You're not going to get the regular bullshit that you'd get in a uh, AI battle in the siege where they don't have a clue what they're doing. Just scope around. Let's have a little zoom around. Wee! Oh, my ship, of course. Oops, wrong button. My ship, I need to... I think with my ship, I'm just going to bring him along the shoreline. Eventually, I'll probably try to take Portus Aminum, so my ship's going to be useful there. And I don't think it's going to be any use up here at all, so... Yeah, navies are a bit of a waste up this part of the battlefield. If you're going to use navies, you really need to be Carthage or Rome. That's where you'll see the full benefit over here. Oh, that's not the sea. Here's the sea. There's, uh... Yeah, that's part of it, Libra, there. There you go, there's the boot of Italy and Rome's up here. It'll be useful in um, that kind of circumstance, but not playing as the Aravaki. Oh, and we have an end turn, so... What is going to happen in the end turn? We shall find out, so... Libya! Faction joins my enemies! What the hell? Oh yeah, sneaky bastard, okay, so... Peace negotiated between the Aravaki and the Cantabri. He's obviously been plotted while I've been away talking to myself here, so we're going to plot back to the little bastard. So what we're going to do is, first things first, let's get this navy moving. Let's get the navy up there. That's going to be useful in the long term. We can't do much against him at the moment, personally. Who does he... He's only at war with me, yet I'm at war with three factions. I find that quite funny. I need to get him disliked by other factions. Now, who can I get? The Vitones, maybe? Uh, let's see, Celtic, Celtic, Vitones. Can you trade with me, Vitones? Please, can you trade with me? Moderate? Holy shit. Oh! Ah, oh, not again. Carpetani? Join war with Carpetani? Shit. Okay, what if I say, okay, I'll, I'll do that, but you've got to give me some trade. And I think you should give me some money as well, because that's quite a big... i got to put my neck out for you. Oh, maybe not. We'll just try trade. There we go. More enemies for me. Shit, I have... I have loads. I have four enemies now. That's not good. Ah, oh, well, it happens. It's, it makes for a good campaign, anyway. The more enemies you have, the better. Keltiki, they tried to backstab me. Let's see if they can come into the fold. You want some trade? Maybe not. Okay, you can fuck off. Oh, how about a non-aggression pact? Nope. Okay, you can piss off as well. Ah, man, that's, that's, that's disturbing. Okay, so I think we are going to bring this... Nope, we want to keep them there. Minus two. Gotta keep recruiting units. Gotta keep recruiting. I think we can get some mercenaries. I, I want to take this settlement. It only has eight men inside it, plus one arm. Plus one? What? Six? Ah, just six in the unit, but can't see them. What can we get mercenary-wise? I'm going to go for the settlement, guys. I'm going to go for the settlement. What can we get? Let's see, 210? I think we can go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We're up against it. Holy shit, we're up against it. Fuck. Got to use my wits for this one, I think. Right, I think we can assault them. And we shall see what happens. The dude is undecided. He is undecided. He doesn't know what he's doing. What's he going to do? What is the dude going to do? Uh oh, I think this is glitched out. Oh, time has come in. Four, three, two, one. He's going to play as the AI. Brilliant, brilliant. We've got our first siege battle of the campaign. Battle of Costa Rica. And I'm putting my neck out on in this battle. This is the first battle where I have a major disadvantage. And it's a siege battle against a human player. So, yeah, 
I might lose this badly. But I gotta get my thinking cap on. Stretch my legs. Oh, that's better. Let's get into the total war mindset. Let's see if we can beat him. Waiting for other players to finish loading. There we go, right. So, I don't know how this works, so... I need to get to the... Okay. Uh, let's see, best way to go in. Might be the corner here, maybe? I don't know. It's quite a big settlement, Costa Rica. I think it has... Uh, I'm looking for the best place. they got three capture points. Shit, this is going to be difficult. Hmm. Oh, decisions. Ah, uh, how about here? Yeah, let's go here. Let's get them all here. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. We want to get all my ladders lined up. This is going to be dodgy, guys. It's going to be dodgy. And we're going to get my slingers here. Group them up quickly, like so. And then the rest of my troops are we going to be just in the line. But they are we going to start the battle? I'm going to attack from one flank. He might be spread out, I don't know yet. We just have to wait and see. That's the beauty of playing against a proper human being rather than playing against an AI that doesn't know what it's doing. Oh, we just got dark. The screen just got quite dark then. It's quite cool. I don't like the fact though that he can see, like I've lined this up and I can't change this. But he can now see because he's going second with the, the deployment. I don't like how that works in multiplayer. It should be, I can't see his, he can't see mine. I'm not sure if it's the same his his end, but I'm pretty sure it is. In the last battle, he moved his his men after I positioned mine. Anyway, battle time. Let's get them through the walls to the window. Where well, they go on the walls? Shit, you got men on the walls. Right, slings. We expected that. I think. Let's give some covering fire for my men while we go up the up the wall. Up the wall. Oh my God, what's happening here? Why aren't you attacking the wall? Right, you both go there. And you both can go there. Now, he, how many men did they have? They had like a thousand odd, didn't they? But I think it was like eight or nine units, so they don't outnumber me. I could have done with some cavalry, that's why he missed out on. Shit. Should have got cavalry. Clona. Garnacio. 160. I don't want to burn the gates down. I really don't, because it's kind of cheating. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it won't come to that. I'm going to be wary as well, in case he out tries to outflank me, he might come out one of these buildings and swoop around. That's why I'm not committing these yet, I'm just going to wait to see you know, if he does or if he doesn't. Ooh, I have another slinger back here, let's bring the slinger up. Didn't see him. Shit. What are they? Eberanta Magurix, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Fire you mad fucks. Can we take out his tower? We can't, that's a shame. Why can't we take out your tower? Oh, yeah. missiles can't for some reason. I didn't know that. It doesn't matter. Dim problemo. Shit, we've lost a lot of men. Holy shit, guys, this is going to be surreal. Where is he? This is this is strange. He's got to be back here. I'm sure he's going to be back here somewhere. Maybe, maybe he'll allow me to come through if I can get past these two skirmisher units and then perhaps bottleneck me here. I'm assuming that's what he's going to try. I, he's not gonna he's not gonna hide in the capture points like the AI does. That's a certainty. And I've lost one unit of slingers. I, I kind of anticipated that. It's it's uh, what I expected. Hunt them down and kill them all. Bal Hamoon oh wrong campaign. Bal Hamoon be praised. Let's bring these closer as well. I don't want to to burn the gates. That's one thing I'm not going to do in this campaign, if I can help it, and that's burn the gates down. So I should probably wind him up as well if I do. <laughs> there we go. As I expected, he got some equites, Kaitar Kaitarati. Let's have a look at them. Equites Kaitarati. Look at that horse. Look at that beautiful horse. I've seen this guy before. <laughs> oh my god! I thought it was an Egyptian. Did he look Egyptian? My god. We have an Egyptian in their ranks. Attack them all. Right, let's go back to the campaign. So, what I'm going to do is going to be a bit sneaky. I'm going to get these men to fire over the top and onto them there. Holy shit, what's going on here? Guys, what the hell's going on? Who's damaging what here? No, don't attack. No, I don't want you to attack the, the walls. What are you doing? Shit, man. Uh, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Get in there. Kill them. 
shit. This isn't playing right. There we go, that's working now. Stop hitting the fucking walls, you fucking retards. There we go, that's what I wanted. Fuck's sake. You tell them one thing, do something completely different. This is what I wanted. There we go, if I can take the tower, I hope we'll take the tower. We'll see how, how it goes now. Kill them all! Balhamun be praised! Salingos! If I had Ballista right now, I'd line it up right by you and fire straight into him. But unfortunately, I've got no Ballista. Now these three units can come a bit closer, because they're going to get outnumbered otherwise. Now he's going to bottleneck me here, like I said, because, you know, in the, in the um, campaign, I've actually fought this battle in my own campaign for Rome 2. They actually camp in these capture points. The, the AI did against me. But it's nice to see somebody actually come down and fight me. Properly, like like he's doing right now. Balhamun be praised. Kill them all. Die. We might not be Carthage, but we still believe in Balhamun. These men. Here we go. They can get shots over the wall. They're quite protected by there, unless that tower shoots at me. But it won't because the tower's con uh, contested between two armies at the moment. Now this army is going to go up there. This one is going to go up there. Not army, I mean uh, units, because I can't say things properly. Units going to go up there. These three men are now going to charge straight into him. Here we go. Charge! Kill them all! Ah! Balhamun! Balhamun! There we go. Bit of passion. Bit of passion doesn't hurt anyone, guys. Oh my god, the gate's open. Can we actually go through the gate? No, we can't. It's, it's closing. Shit. Shit, man. Oh, look how much of this bullshit we gotta get through. We've got a lot of slingers though. We can we can take out the slings, I think. Kill them all! Ah! Check for special abilities. In 137 seconds, we will have some more special abilities at our disposal. We have. S oh, these guys are nearly out of ammunition. These guys got a little bit left. Just continue to pepper the enemy with some some shots. Try and kill as many as we can. Now the battle is almost 50-50, which is quite cool to see. I only wish I could get around. Oh, if I had cavalry, I could just flank around or something. That's what's missing. That's what's. Ooh, pardon me. That's what's missing in this army is some, some cav. I, as you can see, he's committing a lot of men forward to me right now. Get in there and kill them all! Ah! These men are firing. Oh, they know they're not. Like, this guy can now be used as an extra infantryman. So get your ass up there, please. You are needed. I'm holding back with this one for now, just to see how it goes, whether I think I need him or not. At the moment, I don't want to overcommit myself and overstretch myself too much. That's kind of my aim at the moment, not to leave myself exposed too much. Let's, while they're fighting, let's go and get some fight cam uh, shots. So here we go, we have some men up here fighting. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful action. Kill him! Kill him, Balhamun wants you to kill him. Kill him now. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, wrong button. Sorry, guys. I like the armor. I like the. Is there a wolf? Looks like a wolf. Let's see another one. Yeah, I think that's a wolf. Or is there a cat? It looks a bit like a cat. Meow. Meow. We are the warrior of cat. We take no bullshit. What are we against by you? Spearmen. Got lots of spearmen in Iberia. It's like the main uh, thing they have is Iberian spearmen. Oh my god, look <laughs> I can't even get all my men up into the onto the barricades. Just squash them all in. Just pile in, go on men, pile in. Completely bottleneck the whole barricade there. That's why I'm not gonna commit this this unit yet. Even though we could probably get through the gates. I don't know. Can we get through the gates? Is he retreating? He is. Ah, there we go. I think first blood to me. He is retreating. Pretty obvious he's going to try to outflank me when I get through here. And I've only got one way to go, and that is through here. We need to be quick about this, guys. We have to be quick. Let's get all these men, men in now. This is where we bring them all in. Just just completely obliterate my opponent here. And these two can attack them there. My other two men are going up on the walls. And while that's happening, I'm going to zoom in for you guys at his men. As they run away like cowards. Hello, hello, men. Oh, your skirt is broken. Not, a, not a skirt, a tunic. 
Your tunic's broken. Meow. Yeah, he's going up there. He's going to go to one of these uh, capture points. There's one by there, up by the Stonehenge looking thing, and there's one up here. I assume that's what he's going to do. Which means I'll probably veer the other way. So I can face him, take this tower, and then face him up there. I'm going to bring this uh, this uh, unit forward, though. Not too far, just, just to... Just to here with the little fences, but there for now. How are we doing? Right, these are routed in. That's 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 great. Just, just kill them. Kill them all. This this unit's holding up very very well. My God, six hundred sixty nine, hundred sixty eight. They're losing lots of men. They are dying. They are hopefully dying. Come on, keep killing. Aim of the game is to kill. That is all. You can chase them, and you can chase them as well. We are now taking the cap. Oh my god, what's happening over here? Oh, don't tell me this tower's doing this bullshit to me. Oh man. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I hate. Oh. Ugh, I hate arrow towers. Fucking idiotic things. Kill them all. Balhamun, be praised. Balhamun. Gonna charge them all into the to him now. That are, that are unit's doing really well. It's holding up pretty well in this in this little skirmish over here. Look at the ooh, look at the arrows flying in and the, the fire arrows, the javelin. Oh, there you go. That's the wolf thing over there. I want to see this guy, Wolfie. Wolfie, come back to me, Wolfie. Whoops. Yeah. Look. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's a cat. I don't think it's a wolf. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's whatever it is is dead. If in doubt, kill it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units remaining. Oh, this is it, guys, the final push. Think of this as Normandy, and we've just landed. That's what this battle's gonna be like. Now, I need to work out what I'm, how I'm gonna do this. Let's get these units in the front. I can't actually form up properly right here. He has more men on the way? Nope. He's hiding over there though. So we're going to group these five first, and then these four is what's grouped up lastly. So that's got a general with them. That's going to be my final kind of assault. We're going to send these five forward, and we're just going to hold back slightly with these. I don't want to overcommit, like I said earlier. At the moment, the battle's maybe slightly in my favour. I don't know. It's difficult to say on, on uh, multiplayer co op versus it can be quite deceiving. So he's gonna be up here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to watch out for this. This is one of the things I don't like with Rome though. You know by here, if I was defending I'd have my javelin, my slingers, anything that can got missiles on the walls up here to fire down. That would be perfect. But in this game, nope, can't do that. Can't actually station anybody here. It has to be here. Which I don't know whether it's got good range or not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There we go. I'm just going to overcommit with these. I don't know if you can see these men actually. Don't have no idea. There anyway, we go. Just going to charge straight forward. I know he's going up here. I checked in. There he is. There he is. Goes straight for them. Round the corner. And while he goes around the corner with them, we're going to go in the opposite direction with these. Make sure we can take some of the maybe the tower by here. Maybe flank around and go up here. I'm going to be getting a lot of fire through um, these arrow towers, so it's going to be. A little bit awkward, unfortunately, but we'll see what we can do. So, as expected, he's up here. Maybe I'll, I'll bring the second one behind his reinforcements. I might bring him to here, this capture point, and then go around and up there. He has got men up here, though, so actually I'll go for them with the second lot of men, and the first lot are going to go for them up there. Makes sense, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? There we go, send them in. What have we got? We got some some spear units, it's going to be awful, 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 awful. Charge them, my friends, charge them! Oh, he got fired by something. Shit. Charge, kill them all! Ah! Right, they're going to all charge this unit. Well, my second group is going to charge 
Ah, here we go. Look at this bullshit. Right, let's turn quick. Turn. Get these two to turn on cavalry quickly. All of you. Look at the cavalry charge. Shit. Oh, beastly. He just thrown his cavalry straight into my spearman. That's not going to be good for him. I don't mind this right now. Take out the cavalry, please. There we go. We're losing cavalry. There we go. As expected. Ignore and continue. Second units attack cavalry. We can squeeze past there, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, he's going to come around. He's going to flank me. The bastard's going to flank me. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. We're going to bring all these this way. That'll stop the cavalry that way. One of these units can disengage and go up there. The other three are going to attack up here. Look at this. He's, <laughs> he's camping. <laughs> It's like he's camping. It's like he's like the AI right now, isn't he? He's camping up there. He knows the I could defeat him. I might defeat him, I don't know yet. I might not. He's probably got more men in each individual unit, whereas I don't. But this is good, we're routing this unit by here. His cavalry's gonna take off again, I think. We're gonna just gonna flank around and take the cavalry out. I think dividing my men into two groups is probably a smart decision because I don't have the men and the resources to to fight him man for man but I can do it like I'm doing right now so we're gonna get everybody to here then we're gonna get everybody uh, there if that makes sense just go there just go there flank around I might be able to get him um, on two sides now cavalry oh shite we're routing we're routing that's not good men don't route me don't route I need you I need you to kill him Ah, oh, no. Don't do this to me. Not now. I can't afford to lose more men. I need to flank around. Right. What are my special abilities? Throw javelin heavy. I could have done that. Could I? Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. Right, he's going to throw all this bullshit into me. What's he got? He got some cavalry? Nope. No cavalry. That's a shame. But my men are coming. We are coming for you, my friends. We're going to go up here as well. We're not going to go this way. We're going to go up the top. Try to divide and conquer, so to speak. To quote the mod that we're using. If I can flank up here. Now, i got a choice. I either go down here and fight this battle, leaving my rear exposed, or I go up here, which is probably safer, because I don't think he can quite get around, or he might not want to. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Come on, guys. Get up there. That's where we're going. That's the aim. That's the prize. My general's in this section as well. I can't use... I can't use Inspire? What? Oh, he only uses it once. I think in the mod only uses it once. I should probably double check that. General's... Uh, cavalry's coming for me. I'm going to charge the cavalry. Let's go for a little, little bit of action. A little bit of an action shot. Oh! Cavalry charging me. What are you doing, man? You against spearmen? Sword oh, these are not spearmen, are they? They're swordsmen. Shit. Wrong one, wrong one. I'm afraid. Shit not good. He might win, he might win, he might lose. I might lose, he might win, I don't know. Taking him out here, mind. We're holding on, we're holding on, that's the good thing. If we can hold for just a little bit longer. Oh, these towers are, are wrecking me, though. Get up there, come on, fucking kill them all. Shit, we're losing lots of men. My general's fucked as well. Shit. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. He knows his stuff. This guy knows his stuff. Kill him! Get in there, you fucking idiot. Go on. Ah, I've lost this one. I can't see me winning this one now. you got too many men. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. I've only got these three left. To the bitter end. To the bitter end we go. That was a pretty cool battle though. It's nice to fight a battle like that and not have to worry about um, stupid CGI. Like, if this was um, very hard or legendary difficulty, I'd probably be, you know, against the AI, then I probably would be um, winning this battle fairly comfortably. But, uh, you know, I've actually had to think quite a lot, a lot harder about this battle. I have, you know, like, like coming through then, I had to go right, I had to divide here, go around here, and that left me exposed to the towers. There's a lot of thinking involved, you know. And, that's good. If a Total War game can make you think, then it's, it's doing its job. That's the way I think.
I think. <laughs> Holy shit, we're losing badly. It's it's may as well zoom in now and and look at some of the some of the uh, action shots because he's gonna throw. Oh, look at these! Oh, right in the head! You are dead. That was quite cool to see. Any more javelins? Do you have any more javelins to throw at me? Looks like they're running away. You cowards! What cowards? And there we go. So a close defeat. Only close though. That's 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 uh, good. A close defeat. Oh, I lost over a thousand men. He lost six hundred. I killed 536, he killed 841, and the battle duration was 18 minutes, so that's quite, um, that's quite cool, it's quite good to have, quite good to see, and, oh, slow motion, stabby, stabby, stabby. So, unfortunately, we haven't taken Costa Rica this time, but in the near future, I hope I can take it. It'll be in a future part, because we are probably going to be ending this part pretty soon. So, yeah, an honourable death. And there we are. So, oh, duty calls. Shit. Go for him. So, I'm going to end my episode here. I hope you've all enjoyed this co-op campaign. And let me know in the comment section your feedback um, on whether you think we should carry on the co-op with both of us speaking individually on our channels or whether you think we should do what, like we did in the first episode and have both of us talking at the same time so as always I've been Dragonheart hope you've enjoyed until next time goodbye <laughs>